What's going on YouTube? It's Iris Shadow here. Um, I have a little bit of announcement regarding my health, my current health situation. It It is officially July 1st, so let me get this out of the way. Happy Canada Day to all Canadians and um, happy 4th of July to all Americans. But um, as of today, it has been at least two weeks since I quit smoking. And while it may seem like a pretty good milestone not having a single cigarette for two weeks, there's been a lot of downsides too. As you can possibly hear from my voice, I'm not in the best of health. And it started off with a cold. And then it turned into a bronchial infection, which is now fucking gone because I can actually start talking again. Now I'm suffering from ear infections and severe headaches. And I'm waking up with night sweats. I have no idea of what's going on with my with my health as of this point. I do have plans to go see a doctor in the next few days. But as it stands right now, I'm I feel horrible. Like I absolutely feel horrible. I think it's because of the random change from from smoking pretty much uh, 10 to 15 cigarettes a day to actually going cold turkey for two weeks. I think it's been a massive shock to my immune system. And now I'm paying for it. Um, I don't, I don't really know like what the, the circumstances are of what's going on, but, uh, I don't know. I've I've been smoking for well, let, let's just say I'm I'm actually 30 years old right now. A lot of you might not know this, but I am actually 30 years old. I'll be 31 in November. But um Yeah, I I would say that I've been smoking for I think close to 16, 17 years. I it, it was a mistake from day one looking back because I, I sacrificed so many good things because of smoking and like this is not a a pity like I'm not asking for pity on this I'm just letting you guys know um I don't I don't really know what's going on with my body I have an idea and I hope it's not what I think it is because if it is then you know that's gonna add a real damper on not just my life but a lot of other people's lives um, mainly family and close friends but I don't really think that's what it is because if, if that is what it is that I'm thinking about then I obviously would have known by now, but it doesn't feel like that. Like I've looked at all the symptoms of what I think, like um, what lung cancer might be like. And I don't have any of the symptoms. I have like a massive cold, which I've had for about a week now. And it's just, it's just not going away. Like I've been pumping myself with, Vitamin C, all vitamins that I can think of. I've been exercising regularly now. I actually started going for jogs instead of just like sitting in the house. Like I haven't even been able to go to work for a week because of all of this shit. Um, like I said, I do have an appointment to see my my special uh, specialist in um, a few days. So, like, I have to go in there on the, the 6th. 
so I really don't know what, what's going on with me. But uh, for the time being, I don't know if this is going to be like how long this is going to be, but I'm, I'm going to be taking a little bit of time to actually sit down and basically relax for a little bit because like I, I need to let my my um, immune system adjust to the recent changes of what's going on. Um, I do plan on actually starting to go to the gym more often. It's just with how sick I am, I have to, I actually have to like, I've actually limited myself from any like human contact in for the past week now. So like, I haven't really been able to see a lot of people. I know that sucks for a lot of you that are actual like friends of mine that watch my videos, but just know that I am okay. It's just, I don't want to be around because I've, like I said, I, I've been c cigarette free for two weeks now. Um, I'm, I'm trying to actually test myself with vices of smoking. So like there's a lot of friends I know that I hang around with that do smoke. I have to try to limit myself from being around them. Um, it, it's nothing against them. It's it's just a personal thing that I need to do. And uh, <coughs> there's there's other things too. It's uh, I just need to take some time away from um, I think uploading. Like I just added a playlist for heavy rain which I am officially downloading right now. It's just, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep uploading a lot of this because I do want to spend like more time outside in the fresh air doing like yard work and stuff. I've actually started, um, I actually got some inspiration from another friend of mine and I actually started growing vegetables in the backyard. So, um, very big thank you to him. He knows who he is and I know that he is watching, but it, it's just, I have been so sick lately and like ear infections going into headaches, getting over bronchitis. I don't have a lot of energy anymore and I don't have energy to actually really even sit down and play like games anymore I've been uh spent the last like almost week and a half I've been doing nothing but pretty much watching Netflix uh other channels on YouTube that I'm subscribed to it's helped with the the no smoking and uh I've actually cut out a lot of caffeine from my from my diet as well I'm actually down to one coffee a day in the morning just to get me the, just to give me that extra boost to to like get up and start doing things. So like I have cigarettes completely out of my system. Um I am down to one coffee a day and I know that has nothing to do with my with my health results, but then again maybe it does. Uh, I used to have like five, six coffees a day. I used to have close to 17 cigarettes a day. And I pretty much cut both of those out of my, out of my uh, daily routine at the same time. And I've, I've basically just been sticking with one coffee a day. So maybe the fact that I, I cut both of those out of my system like a large portion of caffeine and nicotine out of my system in pretty much at the same time. Maybe that was just like a massive shock to my, my body that uh, my immune system couldn't handle. Hence the reason why I got so sick. I don't know, but uh, I'm not going to say that I'm going to stop uploading because um, at this point I am actually uploading uh, 
part 19 of Manhunt, which is basically the second last level. But then there's also two uh, specialty videos coming out after after the next upload that I'm doing. So basically that's going to end Manhunt. And that's where I'm going to start Heavy Rain. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep uploading a lot of things regularly. I might take some time away from it. Except for like the, the last uh, three episodes of Manhunt. Just because like it's, it's three uploads. It's not going to take forever. It's just. I don't have a lot of time right now or energy to actually do a lot of uploads. I can't do a lot of editing because I, I get like headaches and I just feel sick and then I feel tired and then like I got the sniffles and coughing a lot. It's, it's just a whole, it's a whole shitload of a mess and from what it feels like, it doesn't feel like it's going away anytime soon. So, uh, yeah, so there might be like, I will say about a week. I want to wait until my, uh, the specialist tells me what he thinks is wrong with me before I actually make up any conclusion as to what like future steps I need to take. But I'll let you guys know what's actually going on when I find out. But for right now, I just want you guys to know that I'm taking like a week off of uploading just because I'm sick. And I want to get some well-deserved rest. Uh, I'm not allowed back to work until this clears up because I do actually work in a restaurant environment and that's not fucking good. Uh, so, yeah. This has just been a little bit of update. Again, happy Canada Day to you Canadians. Happy 4th of July to you Americans. And uh, this has been Irish Shadow. And I will see you guys next time.